I look at the issue of U.S.-Pakistan relations uh, from uh, two angles. There are more angles to be looked at, but I l look at them from two. One is uh, in terms of the global balance of power, uh, particularly in Asia. And what we have, uh, if I was to talk to our president, would be that China is rising as a uh, great power. Um, uh, our relationship could become competitive. It is already, in some regard, become more and might become even hostile. And what we need is a balance of power in Asia uh, that uh, uh, can help us deal with uh, this uh, uh, rise of China. Uh, uh, the more there is a balance, uh, the more uh, the prospect for uh, avoiding some of the worst things that could happen in the evolution of relations between a current dominant power ourselves and a rising power, China. And in that regard, uh, our relationship with India is very important. Uh, we need to nurture it, we need to strengthen it, uh, a, a stronger India is in our interest to balance uh, China, uh, India, plus Japan, plus other Asian powers who, are, who, have, who have a similar concern about the future uh, Asia balance. And today, the Secretary of State spoke at CSIS uh, talking about the 100 years uh, future, perhaps borrowing from the Chinese, uh, talking of a very long-term relationship. Uh, Indo-Pacific, a very ambitious uh, era that, uh, that's coming. That will have implications for our relation with Pakistan, given the unfortunately zero-sum way and these two have been thinking about each other. Uh, and, and, and that's going to have a, a complicating effect on our relations with, with Pakistan, despite our effort that each relationship is important in its own right and we value it, 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 it is inevitable. Second is the issue of uh, another big global issue is terrorism, extremism. Uh, it's one of the big challenges of our time, perhaps. Uh, I don't know how you would rank it, uh, given other concerns. And there, Pakistan could be a partner. Uh, we could develop, uh, because it can play an important role, but it's a part of the problem uh, right now. And so uh, the two put together uh, it makes for a very difficult uh, uh, relationship. Uh, I would think uh, it, it's very important that we try to change Pakistan's policies on uh, uh, support for extremism and terror, which has cost us a lot in Afghanistan. We've not only in terms of resources that we have spent to build the Afghans, uh, to reestablish the Afghan state, and not only we have uh, lost a lot of lives, uh, uh, our reputation, our security uh, is all at stake. We have uh, embraced the, the objective that we won't allow Afghanistan to become a place from which terrorists could once again attack us. And Pakistan has been undermining that for the most part. It's not completely, but for the most part. It's been, uh, and we have been constrained in our uh, approach because Pakistan is important. We go through Pakistan to supply our forces. We uh, have some counterterrorism uh, concerns, security of Pakistan itself, security of its nuclear weapons. All of that are very important issues. But uh, what we've done so far hasn't worked. Uh, we need to try a new approach, and the new administration has tried a new approach. Now, I think this has had a salutary effect so far. We see some uh, positive signals from Pakistan, uh, but I think it's a typical uh, response so far, which we are, I have seen before. I'm sure all of us have seen when the pressure is on the rise. And they do some things to, uh, you know, all of a sudden you get a couple of Al-Qaeda people turned over, you get uh, some other nice gestures or made to uh, kind of diffuse uh, the prospects for increased pressure, but the pattern then uh, goes back to the way it was. And uh, hopefully this time it's different. Uh, the release of these hostages, the visit to Kabul by the, the army chief, the restart of conversation. But I suspect my judgment would be until we have a verifiable uh, 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 change, and that is to close their sanctuaries. There is a roadmap for closing the sanctuaries, starting with the Akhani network. We need to 
uh, we need, if we are to remain committed to Afghanistan and want to do it at a reasonable price, then we, this, the change in Pakistan will be significant and we need to, 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 to persist. Uh, what do we need to do to, uh, I think it, my, I'm a little pessimistic based on a lot of experience in dealing on this issue. I think it will come to a coerc coercive phase. Right now we're saying one last chance. There will be a visit uh, relatively soon uh, uh, to Pakistan. Uh, a visit has occurred already. Some progress was made in the conversations, uh, that the interagency group that went there already. But a more senior visit will occur, and uh, I think uh, there is an effort to lower the temperature, to keep your head down, to tell the Taliban, keep your head down, and let the American anger dissipate, then the, uh, good days will be here again, and we can go back to business as usual. But I think that, that, uh, that there's no patience for that. Um, I can say that with great confidence, <laughs> and that there will uh, be consequences. Uh, it's my judgment. And, and, and we will get to that phase, unfortunately. I'm pessimistic. And there are a lot we can do. A lot is under consideration. Uh, and and uh, I'm sure during the question and answer, we can uh, sure. to get some of those. I think if Pakistan changes, which I hope it will, because uh, you know we all want to affect this policy. It's an important country, 200 million people, nuclear weapons, important geopolitical location, and all that. It could be a great partner for this uh, the, uh, the second task, uh, which is the kind of terrorism. I mean, the India balance of power. I said there is a big role for our partnership with Pakistan, and I hope we can get to that.